What's up guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video and today we're going to be reviewing the new Master Lee's Perfect Cell from Ichiban Kuji, Duel to the Future. Before we dive into the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell, like the video, comment your thoughts down below for us to discuss, follow me on my socials, and consider becoming a YouTube member to enter into our monthly giveaways and Discord server so our community can help you on your Dragon Ball figure collecting journey. This figure is based on Perfect Cell from the Cell arc of Dragon Ball Z. The figure is based on Perfect Cell when he survives his own explosion and kills Trunks in Dragon Ball Z Chapter 219. This is an Ichiban Kuji release, so if you'd like to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, check the video in my description below. This figure sells for an average price of about 70 to 80 US dollars on the market. If you're interested in buying this figure for cheaper, then use my discount code PEACHES24 at BashmanCollectibles.com to get 10% off of your first order and 5% off of every future order afterwards. This figure was released on April 6th, 2024 in Japan along with the rest of the Ichiban Kuji set. The Ichiban Kuji set consists of perfect Cell, Trunks, Super Saiyan Future Gohan, Vegeta, Mr. Satan, and Goku and Kaio as the last one prize. Cell stands at about 11 and a half inches tall, weighs 2 pounds 7.7 .7 ounces in box, weighs 1 pound 11.8 ounces on his own, and he comes whole with his wings and support. so happy that this Ichiban Kuji is here. I'm so freaking excited to talk about this thing. I've been working really hard to get all the footage and editing so I can get this out to you guys ASAP. So sorry for the wait, but it's finally here. You're gonna be able to enjoy the entire set for the next week or so. But let us dive into this set. Uh, without further ado, let's talk about <laughs> perfect cell. Mm, too bad, I'm alive. Uh, it's Cell, man. He's back again. Uh, we got Perfect Cell back in December of 2021 in Dragon Ball vs. Omnibus, and now we're we're getting him again. So, of course, they, they are reusing some things, and Cell is just... Obviously, Cell is a fan-favorite character. He's one of the best of the best in the series. He's extremely memorable. He's a, a very cool villain. One of the best designs Toriyama has ever done throughout the entire franchise, in my opinion. He is super duper cool, he's, he's perfect. He's great, I love Cell so, so much. Um, to see Perfect Cell again, even though we already have gotten one in Ichiban Kuji, we don't get Cell in general that often, so to see him come out, you know, back to back like this in Duel to the Future and then next month as semi-perfect Cell, I'm all for it. Cell deserves more and more representation. He is, uh, like I said, one of the the main villains of Dragon Ball Z and some people's favorite villains from a lot of people's favorite arc of Dragon Ball Z. So of course, as a character choice, I think Perfect Cell deserves to be a five out of five for sure. I'll also say this, uh, even though 
He is perfect cell. I'm still displaying him on my shelf as super perfect cell, even though that's it's not really a form. He's just kind of powered up as perfect cell. But, you know, I remember in the game, sometimes they indicated that growing up. So uh, I'll, I'll put him on there and make that excuse so that I can have two perfect cells on my shelf. Uh, his likeness is absolutely incredible, man. I don't know how they, they took the original perfect cell and they made his likeness even better, but it is like just his his smug and sinister personality is on full display here, dude. Just an absolute quality job here. That smile is so so good. They they put so much character in his eyes. There's a little bit of those details under his eyes where they add those anime lines. He just looks extremely good in the face at every single angle he just looks so good he's extremely handsome i i'm blown away by how good he looks i didn't know that they could truly improve the likeness of the original omnibus super uh, cell but they did and he's here so his likeness is a five out of five no doubt about that it is one of the greatest i've ever seen on an ichiban kuji figure uh sculpt quality it's a fantastic sculpt but let's uh Let's talk about it. Of course, they are reusing most of the body of the Omnibus Supercell. I think we can tell. We could tell as soon as this was revealed. Um, the biggest differences are his arms are different. Uh, his chest is revealed now because his arms aren't crossed. Uh, his head is different. And uh, I think one of his wings might be different or they, they somewhat uh, changed how they sculpted his back. It might, it's probably, it's one of those two because one of his wings is elevated um, slightly up with his arm that's pointing to his head. So everything else is the same, uh, the body, the legs. I I'm sure his head is actually the same. They just swapped the face. So it it's pretty much the same sculpt, but hey, that sculpt is freaking phenomenal. So I'm super happy that they still went ahead and reused it. But, you know, taking some, some close observation, it's just like the original. All of his dots are painted on which I think provides like a really good contrast to the imperfect cell figure where it's like sculpted in. So it makes them look less monstrous and more, you know, more perfect. And, and you know, you get the details of his tail in the back, uh, the little purple spots within his wings. Everything has just been sculpted with some high, high detail and observation. Um, so even though the sculpt is reused, it's absolutely perfect. But I will give it a four out of five. I'll be consistent and fair and, you know, knock it off a point that they are mostly reusing the original sculpt of the perfect cell. If that doesn't bother you, it doesn't bother me, you know, obviously go ahead. Um, the uh, paint and shading is off the charts, man. Uh, I did not know, you know, I, I originally thought the perfect cell and you can see them side by side. I thought he had a perfect paint job, right? I, I thought it was splendid. There, there could be no improvements done to it, but they proved me wrong by, I guess they, it looks like they not only added more shading onto the figure, but the choice in green that they chose is a bit darker than the original Omnibus cells green. So the paint itself is a darker shade of green, slightly darker shade of green mixed in with that lighter green that the original had. So it gives this very vibrant look to sell um i just i love this thing man <laughs> it's so good <laughs> um you can even see shading on his little his tail that's sucked in the back dude they they just went all out and of course there are glossy parts top of his head his uh, basically all his black parts are glossy um there's even shading on his feet dude like what a great job five out of five for paint and shading you know enough said He's just fantastic. I love the way that they painted this thing. It's it's superior to the Omnibus in every single way. Um, size and scale is also perfection. He's the exact same size as the original cell. Um, he, he looks slightly shorter, but that's because his head is tilted so that he can point to, uh, point to his head like that. <laughs> but uh, uh, he's the exact same size as the Omnibus uh, cell. So even though he's not labeled as a Masterly's Extra, he is a Masterly's Extra because he's recycled from one. Um, I don't know why they're abandoning that name with Dragon Ball um, because I still see My Hero is doing Masterly's Extra name. Star and Stripe in uh, next month's Ichiban Kuji is a Masterly's Extra. So very interesting that Dragon Ball is not, uh, it doesn't have that name 
for some of their figures anymore. King Cluster's gone too. The Broly's are just called Masterly. So very interesting. I don't know what, what the idea is behind that. Could be a licensing thing. Could be a marketing thing. I don't know. But he's perfectly sized. Perfect. He's 11 and a half inches tall. He's almost a foot tall, man. He's a big figure and he definitely commands a presence when he's on a shelf which is what i love to see in a perfect cell figure so size and scale is a five out of five but yeah guys uh, obviously <laughs> uh i i uh i would give this thing a perfect score all around if i could um but uh you know i i will knock off that point for the sculpt quality in my heart I want to give this thing a five out of five just because it's freaking fantastic. It's a great option for people who miss out on the Omnibus Super because the Omnibus Super is really expensive now and hard to find. This one is coming out as an Ichiban show, even though I, I think it's one of the only figures that hasn't been sold out everywhere I've seen. So every uh, the rest of the set is like sold out everywhere. But uh, yeah, he's he's going to be easier to find. He's going to be cheaper. You guys can use Bashwin to get him for cheaper than uh, I think he's like $70, $80 on average. Uh, in Japan right now, um, but Bashman can help you out to get him. Uh, I think he's a great option if you missed out on the first one, but if you want to get another one, totally recommend it, dude. Like, Cell is just a character we don't see often in the figure world, so I think it, it's worth picking up two Perfect Cells for your collection. So with all that being said, I'm gonna walk away and give my boy Perfect Cell a 4.5 out of five. Thank you all again for watching today's video. But before we move on to the upcoming giveaways this month, I'd like to mention my new merch that's launched. We've got shirts, hoodies, mugs, and more. If you want to support me a bit further and rock some of the merch on the channel, please check out the shop tab on my channel. But until the next video, guys, I will see you all later. <laughs>